Good evening everybody, welcome to the vlogs! Not usually the way I start the vlog saying good evening, but today is a bit different. We went to Alton Towers today and we've had such a fun filled long day. So the easiest option for us was to stay in Birmingham tonight and it doubled really well because actually I need to shop in Birmingham because they have just got such a better variety of shops and we need to go to Tiffany's and we want to have a look at some of the higher end shops which we just don't simply have in Bristol. So we thought why not kill two birds with one stone, go up to Alton Towers, stay the night here. Obviously this is the first time staying in a hotel room as well, which is super exciting. And we literally are in Birmingham city centre, so I'm going to show you a room tour in a minute of this hotel. It's really, really beautiful. We're staying in the Clayton um, in Birmingham city centre, and I'll show you the view out the, the window in a minute. We are literally slap bang in the city centre. So yes, we've just ordered a Just Eat. I need to ring up to room service in a minute and get some plates and stuff sent up, because we're having a lovely, like, takeaway in our hotel room just gonna watch some tv and chill for the night and then we're getting up we've got breakfast downstairs in the hotel which is booked for 10 and then we're gonna merrily leisure over to Selfridges. So I have my Tiffany's appointment at 11, which I do actually have a lot of stuff I need to talk to them about. I need a repair, I need a repurchase, I need all different stuff. And then me and Andy definitely have a few places that we have booked off to have a look at. Like, I am definitely going to Louis Vuitton tomorrow. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not responsible for my actions, but I wanna have a look. And so does Andy, actually, because we're. I'm trying to convince him to get himself a really decent belt. So we'll see how convincing I can be. But yeah, let me show you my hotel room. So like I said, we're staying at the Clayton Hotel in Birmingham city centre. Oh, I do love a good hotel room tour. So starting off, we have the bathroom, which is in here. Beautiful, beautiful bathroom. And I'm in my misguided Barbie <laughs> silk pyjamas today because why not? We've got our water we've had for today. I've already drank like one and a half of these. I'm super thirsty as well, so I need to get some more. We've got just hand wash, and they haven't given us any other stuff. It's simply just antibacterial hand wash, which I think is really awesome. Lovely sink, go around, a nice modern toilet, and then a huge bath, a uh, huge shower with the really nice ring full shower head, which I love. When you then come out the bathroom, you've got a full length mirror, which I very much appreciate in a hotel room. And then over here, we have a lovely picture that is lit up on the wall and then here is the room so I think this is the premier double king king room I'm not too sure um, but it's just a very beautiful modern room I've turned the main light off because I do like a bit of ambient lighting but we just got this lovely big space that little chaise lounge is where I was sitting just now a little dressing table and then the telly, which actually pops out because we've actually brought our Cody box, so hopefully we can watch Bulletproof too. And then over on this side of the bed, it's really weird where the bed goes back. There's like a wardrobe in there, which has got coat hangers, etc. And then when you go around the other side of the bed, you have the chaise lounge. And you have a tea and coffee area with our drinks of choice tonight and some cookies. This is the sourdough cookies in there that Andy made and just, as you can see, disposable cups and stuff, but there's only disposable cups, they're not allowing any other ones. And then they've actually, I've even noticed, removed the fridge from here, which isn't great, and I don't really understand why they've done that, because they could have just left it empty, but there you go, because they've still got the safe down there. We've got a nice high-tech phone where we can control the whole room from, and then here we have the dressing table. And then this is the window, as you can probably see, doesn't look like the best view ever because it's a construction site, but I won't be able to do this without getting all the things in the way. But over there, that building right there is actually Selfridges. So that humongous white building, and we've parked in a car park just there. So we can literally walk there and ta-da. 
So yes, I'm looking a little bit rough because we've had a very long, long, long day and I'm ready for some food and a bottle of beer and to chill. It's already quite late, it's like 9.09. Andy's had to run back to the car unfortunately, which is all the way over there, bless him. I was gonna go with him, but I've literally not brought any clothes. I brought the clothes I was wearing, which are all disgusting and horrible and I've just had a shower and obviously this and then my clothes for tomorrow. So, like, he's just said he's f he'll, it's fine, he'll run back. It is just over there. I am now going to ring room service, get them to bring up some plates so we can have our tea, which should be here in, like, half an hour. It's a very late dinner, not the best, but it's what we wanted to do. We didn't leave Alton Towers till gone six, which is crazy, but we got so much in. We did so many rides, and it was such a great day. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog, but come join me shopping in Birmingham! Oh my goodness, look at this takeaway. So excited. And we've got Bulletproof on TV. Good morning, everybody. Waking up in the beautiful hotel with the beautiful rainy view, which you can't see, but it ain't pretty out there today, unfortunately. We're gonna be inside all day. We were just looking over at the building and the ball ring and stuff because Andy was like is the ball ring somewhere that they do events and things I was like it sounds like it would be but no it's a humongous shopping mall I'm actually concerned if we're gonna have enough time to do everything because we walked past the world's biggest Primark yesterday and oh my goodness I am gobsmacked if you if you have not seen this Primark because I've never seen it I've just heard that it's the world's biggest one it is massive so that's not going to be in this vlog i might be a little bit in this vlog i might show it but i have to do a whole separate video on that so i filmed three videos this weekend i'm really excited. i said filmed let's uh not hold my breath i'm gonna do three videos so obviously we've got today's and then i'm gonna do a shot with me inside the world's biggest primark which is gonna be on this camera and then i'm in two minds whether i should use my other camera like i did at alton towers in there yesterday because <clears throat> It's just so much easier and I can imagine like security being really hot in places that sell, you know, high value goods and stuff. So I might just go switch over either to my vlogging camera or I was thinking actually just filming on my phone because the front facing camera of my phone is really good. And then they don't really question it because it's the phone. <laughs> like no one really cares. So if you see it flick through using this camera and my phone during this vlog, I apologize. But it's just because this is such a hefty camera. And shops don't tend to like you putting out hefty cameras, filming their luxury goods, um, for obvious reasons. How did you sleep? Lovely. Did you? Yeah, feeling refreshed today. Then we are gonna head down for some, get ready, and then we're gonna head down for some breakfast. And then we're gonna have a day of shopping! I'm so excited! Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. Could I get some uh, tomato sauce, please? Thank you. So we're just having breakfast, yay! And we actually have decent coffee because the room had like the instant coffee. It's a very different experience because as you can see behind me, it would have been a buffet, but obviously because of COVID, it's no, it's not a buffet anymore. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have our breakfast. We've got like a little thingy as well, like a little carrot pack, which comes with biscuits, uh, cookies, sorry, and like granola and stuff. And we had Weetabix. And yeah, yes. gonna have this and be ready for a full day of shopping. Yeah. This is the hotel, it's really, really nice actually, if I just show you. Apart from the weather outside, which isn't so nice. What a gentleman carrying the bags. First shop, Selfridges Men. And she's sexy. Yeah, this is all Gucci. Brands. Oh my gosh, I love that. Fendi. But for me, not for you. <laughs> okay, got our masks. Mask that's, that's the food department down there. And we're going out. Oh my god, the makeup department. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Is this Wonderland? Have I died and gone to heaven? I think I might have done. Oh my god. We're going up now to women's wear because it's 11 o'clock and I got my appointment with Tiffany's. Oh wow. <gasps> Louis, 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 Louis. Oh my god, and I got a Gucci and Chrissy Louboutin. 
Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a lovely building as well. So many brands. Oh wow. Alright, so where's the jewelry? Behind you. Huh? <laughs> oh, there we go. That's where I'm going. So we're in the handbag section and I've been educating Andy. Got the Mew Mew on sale. Zimiaki. Got this Valentino. But it's still 330. Oh my god, they've got Valentinos on sale. Mum would love that. But she doesn't like any of those actually, to be fair. Reduced to 229, the Rockstead Flats. Givenchy ones. Mmm. So guys, these are my absolute dream, dream trainers. 515 pounds. Valentino. But I kind of like the plain VLTN though as well. Hi. Well, these are Alexander McQueen's. I'm literally just pointing out all of them. I'm obsessed with this one. Yay! And he's just looking at the bell. I have this 17. Okay, so come out of Louis over to. Oh, it's not there. I'm on the wrong bit. Over to Tiffany. Oh, my mask popped off. We are very torn. I'm very torn between two bags, but I don't even know. I just don't know. It's one of those things I have to think about. I... a humongous Victoria's Secret. I've just had a look at a Huda Beauty um, polish, uh, not polish, body shine, which looks amazing here, but I don't know if I'm into it. It's 40 pounds. I'm trying to find a super drug because I want to get the Revolution one, but that River Island is huge. Everything here is massive. Oh, I like that. 70% off sale. 70% off Victoria's Secret time. Pink. This is my section. Love it. Success in pink. Oh my goodness, look what shop they've got here. I can't believe that. I've never been in a Morphe store. Look at the James Charles. We've got Jacqueline Hill. And we've got all the brushes. So I was looking over and I just fell in love with this palette here and it just so happens to be the one that's on sale. So I'm definitely getting it. I've got some brushes as well. There's so many choice of brushes. I've never known. Oh my god, I got some amazing deals, guys. I have a feeling the pool is coming. Okay, we've come into Super Drug now and I managed to find my Molten Glow and my brush. And it's buy one get one half price, so we're getting that. I'm kind of wanting everything else, but I really need to just buy what I come in for. Oh, that was also what I was looking at. Oh, but I have the iconic one, so I don't need it. Best bronzing powder ever, by the way. Okay, so we've come outside, and I'm completely disorientated. There's so much going on everywhere. There's the Primark, but if you look at it from the back, it's, it's humongous, it's massive in there but I just want to make sure we haven't missed anything what gosh to be fair most of these shops we do have in Bristol yeah but I don't know whether to just get Primark out of the way because the thing is after Primark we'll have to go back to the car anyway because I'll have bags that I want to put down but we just don't really know where we're going and I do feel like I've missed a humongous section so I'm not sure Plus, I'm actually debating now filming in Primark on this because look at the quality, yeah, it's fine. It's right. And I've got plenty of room and it's just so much easier. Makes my camera kind of redundant again, doesn't it? But it's good for vlogging at home where I can take my time and stuff. But out here, it's starting to rain again. Should we just go to Primark? I just feel like that bit definitely, where John Lewis was, it definitely looks like it's more shops. 
So that was a successful trip to Pry Park. Yay! Okay guys, so it's the end of the day. We've been to Primark, done all my shopping. Got the Primark bags there, another one here. Oh, just can't get upstairs. Oh, thank you. It's the end of the day, so after this, I think we're gonna head back to Bristol. But I have decided I'm gonna go get the Louis Clutch. I'm very, very excited and I'm so nervous. I know it's a lot of money, but I've saved separately for this and worked hard, so it is what it is. And this is what floats my boat. Have I got to wait in the queue? Yeah, there's a great, lovely big queue. But I'm going over there. And I'm gonna get my bag. I'm so excited. This is the sort of queues that there is. At the moment, because you have to, you have to sit down and have an appointment. So you can't like just go in and browse, which is a bit upsetting, but it was fine. It's a really nice lady who helped me out. But I keep looking around. <laughs> I'm so excited guys, I'm getting my Louis, this Louis clutch, I know I will use it so much and I think it will be a great investment piece, so we're going to do it. It's all done, yay! I got Louis flip flops and holographic Louis trainers, oh there we go. Sorry, it's a really big bag. I don't have anything smaller. That's totally fine. Fragrance in there as well for you. Oh, I'll give that a try. I want to put it in there. It doesn't smash. There oh you go. God, All right. So Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, guys! I'm so excited. I am very, very excited. I think like I'm going to do an unboxing on my channel of this bag because I want to talk a bit about investment luxury purchases as well for normal people because I'm a normal person got my purchase we're gonna head on home now do you need to get any food before we go home are you hungry we have a we have crisps in the car but that's it yeah um, I don't know if you want to stop halfway home and get something oh yeah the services as well isn't there we can do that yeah. so we've got back into the car now and I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much guys for joining us on our lovely shopping trip today wow that was a big bump I have literally been in my absolute element. If you follow me on my Instagram, which is here, you would have been seeing my day as it has been ticking on. So make sure you follow me over there if you do want to see more content. And apart from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do make sure you're subscribed and I will see you all in my next video. Stay beautiful. Ciao. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Check for me Taking it